Hello, hello. So today's date is um, for me in the UK is the 19th of June 2023. Um, I'm going to be doing the astrology readings for um, Monday the 19th through to the 25th of June, okay, 2023. So I'm going to say, like I say, on all um, of these astrology readings, every single astrology sign message, there will be something in there for you. Um, it's designed that way. My guides deliberately give extra information within there. OK, uh, just wanted you to, to know that. OK, so um, don't forget to check out your sun, moon and rising. You should be checking out your three. Um, if you want to find out what is your sun, moon and rising, you can um, go to a calculator. It's a free calculator. If they ask you for money, then go to another one. Um, but yeah, it's a free one. And you can go to um, just put in what is my sun, moon and rising and make sure you put free calculator okay and uh, you just need your location the day and the time ish of your birth okay and it will then tell you okay um and you know that will give you your three some people have four don't know how that works apart from it might be on the cusp maybe i don't know but anyway yeah so you might have three um just wanted you to know that um i put a shout out on um greg and i's uh, lives from on the uh, Tuesday evening for me and the Thursday evening um, that I was going to be um, doing a or offering a free 30 minute reading. The catch is that it would be live and it would be a raffle. And we had about 20, I think it was about 26 or 24 people that wanted this. So you guys are brave if you want, if you're happy to do this um, live. If it does get quite personal, then obviously I will put a note or write a note down to talk to you about it afterwards. OK, so it's not going to get that personal and you can give information out um, that isn't. Um, yeah, anyway, there's ways of doing it. OK, so um, so so what I've done is I've um, cut up these people here um, the slips. OK, and I've put them in here. So you can see the various names on here, there's Lee, um, on here there's Stephanie, there's a bit of this and a bit of that from YouTube, um, picked up Stephanie twice, there's uh, Tracy R, so yeah, they're all in here, uh, Laura Lopez, Phil Christophers, Kelly Moore, okay, so there's lots in there, okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this straight away. And then what I'll do is arrange with that person um, and send them over my um, availability and they can choose when they're free. OK, so let me just do this. OK, you see, I'm not looking. Um, this is who who is supposed to have this reading. It's a 30 minute reading and it will be live on YouTube. There we go. Put this down, okay. It is number one, <laughs> Chris Shook. Chris Shook. I don't know if that's the way you say your name, um, but Chris Shook. So I will contact you, Chris, um, and um, um, offer you the availability. But you're the one that won the free reading. Now, I don't believe I've ever done a reading for Chris Shook, so this is what I was after. Really, I mean, I said to the universe, if I'm supposed to read for somebody that I know, then then so be it. Um, but obviously, it's better if I don't know them at all. OK, um, if I have read for them, it's been a long time ago. So because the name does not, um, you know, I know that they've been up in the chat and I know that I've seen them on YouTube. That's about it. OK, so Chris, Shook, I will be in contact with you. OK, if you see this and I haven't been in contact with you, then please get to me. OK, you can come to me on the um, on the website. OK, you can go to the website and there's a contact me button on there. You can go there um, or you can go to um, my email, which is psychic alley one two one. That's numbers one two one at gmail dot com. Um, you can go there as well. What's coming for me this week? Week. So um, the offers that were running have now finished. There was an offer for 30 minute reading for um, $30. 
So that's ten dollars off, and there was twenty dollars off for the ten um, two-hour reading. Okay, I'm afraid those have gone. I'll probably do more offers later on, um, but won't be for a month or so. So, um, so here we go. Um, I'm going to be doing um, psychic development, and this will be on Monday the nineteenth um, of June. Um, the psychic development topic will be questions and answers with your loved ones. So we're going to ask your loved ones to come through, um, to be channeled through, and for you to be able to ask them the questions that you want to know. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the topic. Um, so there's a lot of mediumship energy there. Um, I'm going to be doing, if anybody is in the Kent area and would like a face-to-face -face reading with myself or with the other readers, um, there is going to be a psychic fair and a wellness event, um, and that will be at Hearn Centre, which is School Lane in Hearn, Hearn Bay. The postcode for that is CT67AP. Okay, it's a £2 entry, um, and the readings are £20 for 20 minutes, okay? So if anybody does want um, want to have a reading face to face with myself, all the other readers there, there are lots of stalls, uh, there are therapies, there's all sorts of things going on there. So it's going to be a wonderful um, event. And that is on Thursday, the 22nd of June, Thursday, the 22nd of June, and it will be 6pm through to 10pm. Okay, 6pm to 10pm, Herm Centre. Um, and that's School Lane, CT6, 7AP, and it's £2 entry. And um, yeah, so um, it'll, be, it'll be lovely to see. If you don't want to read, just come say hi. Um, that would be great too. Okay, um, what else is going on? Greg and I will be um, live on Tuesday on YouTube, and that'll be 1am. Tuesday will be 1am. Um, every this is every Tuesday 1 a.m. Um, UK time, which I think works out at 8 p.m. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Yeah, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, um, which is 5 p.m. Pacific time every Tuesday. And then we come on. We're on for an hour and an hour and a half, something like that. And then we're back on again um, for another hour. And that will be at 3 a.m. Um, and that that will be um, 3, 2, 1. 12, 11, 10, 10, so that would be 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time, okay? Um, and then Thursdays, we are on 12.30 uh, a.m. Um, on, on the UK, and that's on YouTube, and that's on Greg and I's, no, it's not on my YouTube, it's on Greg's, which is in 5D, okay, in 5D. And then we'll go over to Rumble, where we're uncensored, Okay, we're uncensored, and the link will be put into the YouTube um, clip. Okay, it'll be on the YouTube um, clip at 12 30 a.m. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Probably should have written these down, shouldn't I? That's 7 30 uh, p.m. That's Eastern, 7 30 p.m. on Thursdays. Okay, and then um, at 8 p.m., we will then be over on Rumble. So we switch over to Rumble. Um, the reason why we do that is because we cannot say what we need to say. Um, you won't get the truth on uh, YouTube, or well, very limited you'll get the truth on YouTube because we are so censored here. Um, there is no longer any free speech here um, in, uh, well, in the UK or in America. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult. It is difficult at the moment. There's so much going on. Um, there is so much hope out there. OK, there is hope and we need to hang on to that hope, even though sometimes we feel as if we want to we want to just give up on it. It's like, oh, what's the point? You know, it's never going to change, never going to change, you know, never, ever, ever. I mean, it will change and it is changing. It's just sometimes it's hard going. OK, so um, but uh, yeah. So anyway, we're going to be doing um, the reading. So that's all the announcements there. If anybody did want to support myself or my wonderful husband um, on Patreon, you are welcome to do that. OK, if you have a look at the bottom here, this is all the Patreons. This is all my Patreons here. I just wanted to say a big 
thank you to each and every one of you um, because it does help me for giving out this content and um, each one of you gets something extra okay so I'm just going to go through that quickly for just 89p about 90p it fluctuates a little bit penny here and there depending on uh, the currency um, one dollar eleven gets you a monthly video meetup and my sincere thank you um for the next tier it's five uh five dollars 55 and you get the monthly video plus you get to ask a question and i answer that question okay a psychic reading um is recorded um and that is four pounds 44 five dollars 55. the next tier um is eleven dollars eleven um per month this is um, um, which works at eight pounds eighty three. This is, is could change with currency. Okay, so it can't be exact. This will give you the monthly video meet up, the mini recorded reading, plus you get um, access to um, a Facebook page which has on all of the workshops, all of the classes, and you can play any of those videos. Okay, and um, you know all different education things there. There's psychic detective um workshops uh remote viewing um mediumship there is um oh just so much tarot tuition one two three uh professional um so it's all on there okay um so that's eleven dollars eleven per month you get access to that um the next one up is twenty two dollars twenty two uh which works at around seventeen dollars seventeen pounds sixty seven twenty two twenty two seventeen 67 okay pounds uh mini video meetup um mini recorded reading classes and workshops plus you get posted to you a mystery gift those mystery gifts are around five pounds they're worth five pounds and obviously you've got the post as well so it is worth it it is worth it so you get all that um for 17 pounds 67 uh 22 22. The next tier up is $33.33, which is £26.50. £26.50. That's the monthly video meetup. 20 minute, this is a 20 minute recorded reading, which I'm doing at the moment, guys. Um, they do take a while, so they take me a good two, three, four days sometimes to do all of the readings uh, for everybody. Um, and the classes and um, the classes, workshops, and the mystery gift posted to you. So you get all of that for £26.50, $33.33. Um, for there's new tiers now. So we've got $44.44 um, per month, and this is £35.60. £35.60. Uh, for that, you get the, video, uh, the monthly video meetup. Um, you get uh, classes and um, workshop videos. You get the mystery gift. But this time, um, you get a 30-minute reading on Zoom. Um, and that's every month. So you can use that to have either psychic development once a month, or you could have um, psychic counselling, or you could have tarot tuition, or, you know, it doesn't matter how you use that time that's absolutely yours okay um and that is 44 dollars 44 per month 35 pounds 60 okay um and the last and final tier um is um it's called the beacon and it is 77 uh, 77 dollars 77 per month and that is 62 pounds and 62 pence and with that you get the the a monthly midi, uh, video meetup. You get the classes and workshops. Okay, get all of that. Um, you can see them all on Facebook. It's a closed Facebook page, so nobody else can see it. Okay, but you. I mean, that's obviously uh, for all of them. Um, so nobody else gets to see the classes and workshop videos. So I didn't make that clear. Um, the mystery gift that is sent out to you, um, plus you then get one hour. Um, you get one hour reading or whatever you want um, on Zoom once a month. And that could be psychic development, psychic counselling. Um, it could be cord cutting, you know. So, yeah, that's that's what uh, that's what you get. Um, so if anybody does want to take advantage of that, um, please go to 
um, patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. Okay. Um, Greg has also, also got a Patreon, which is uh, patreon.com forward slash in 5D. Okay. So anyway, that's, uh, that's those, that's the announcements. Okay, so we're now going to do, the reason why I'm recording it today is because I've had been having quite a hard time of it recently, and I don't want to go into details, but I think most of you who follow me understand what that's all about, and I'm, I'm just doing, I'm, I'm trying to get, uh, keep going, okay, but it has been difficult, okay, but uh, it's not going to slow me down or stop me, um, I'm still continuing on. So what I've done is because we have usually when we go live, we usually say, what is your sun, moon and rising? And everybody lets us know. And I do a tally chart and however many, you know, people have got water signs, you know, fire signs. We kind of then work out who's going first. But we can't today because it's not live. So uh, we've got the air signs tab. We've got the earth signs tab. We've got the fire signs tab and we've got the water signs tab okay so i'm just going to randomly pick which ones i'm going to read first okay okay so it's this one first okay which is fire signs so fire signs you're going to be first then this one which is air signs you're going to be second then water signs and then earth signs okay isn't it funny it's earth signs even though this is randomly picked the earth signs are still last what is that about anyway um so yeah this is this is how we're gonna do it so um so we're gonna start off with the fire signs which will be leo sagittarius Aries. We will then go for air signs, which are we're going to do the Aquarius, then we do Gemini, and then we do Libra. Then we will do the water signs. We'll do Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and then the earth signs. We'll do Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So we'll be doing them in that order. Okay. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to say it to you again. Um, there is a message in there for anyone who is watching this. There is a deliberate message for you um, in each one of these, okay? So it is worthwhile watching it all, okay? So um, let's get going. Let me get the banners going for you guys, okay? Sorry, it's your eye. Um, so we'll do the fire signs. Leo lovely leos okay so leos are spontaneous they're spontaneous they um they live life um in the fast lane or that's what they want uh secretly or otherwise um this is a typical typical um leos you might not be a typical this is why you have to mix together your sun moon and rising because you're a mixture of the three okay so uh, yeah, Leos, they get bored easily. They like to be kind of, you know, keep themselves busy. OK, um, they don't like being bored. OK, that's your Leo energy. OK, so we're going to start off with one of these um, cards by um, John H H John Holland, and it's called the Psychic Tarot. OK, so I'm going to start off with picking um, one of these cards for you. OK, so how is your week going to be, Leo's 19th through to the 25th of June? OK, there we go. It is. We have the emotional loss card. We have the power card. We have the temptation. OK. So these three cards together indicate to me um, that you're going to be going through a bit of a clear out energy. Now, this clear out is going to be for your um, for your own peace of mind. None of this includes grief. OK, I don't even cover grief 
or serious illness in any of my readings, okay? So um, it is nothing to do with that. So this would be emotional loss, meaning that you might feel sad about people that aren't in your life now that maybe were in your life, okay? And it was a, you know, when things were good, okay, between you, um, and now they're not. And you're having to learn your own power now, okay? Your own power. There may be some of them trying to come back into your life, and that, that could be because you fell out over, um, you know, the, the division that was going on between um, people that um, were taking the or believing the, the Kool-Aid story about the or it, it can be the, um, the jabs. So there was a there was a division. OK, and sometimes that was in family and friends and that was deliberate. Um, so we can't play into that. We really can't. So yeah, this to me just feels if it's time to um, to know your own power. If they can come back into your life, is it because they found out the truth finally? Is it because they want um, not to say, "Hey, you were right," but nobody likes to be um, nobody likes that. Um, but this could be a time to say, you know, none of that matters really. It doesn't matter in the long long run. It really doesn't. So um, so yeah, watch out for that. So. Um, let's have a look now um, at um, the rest of it. So we do the proper reading now. If, it, if that fan is annoying everybody, I'm really sorry. Um, if there is a whirring noise every now and again, it's because my fan from my computer kicks in, okay? And there's just this whirring noise. It only lasts for a minute and then it goes again. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry when that happens. Let's turn my other fan off because that might be annoying people as well. Okay, so let's give you some information, Leos. Okay, first card out, five of pentacles, which can be financial loss or energy loss, okay? Magician um, can mean your guides, your spirit, um, your spirit energy. It's saying you've got all the tools to make it work. You've got the strength card, because that is to do with having your strength. Funny that we've got strength card, because that power card that we had just now is the strength card. Okay, so you've had that twice now. Okay, um, so what I see with this this reading is there's going to be a bit of a spend up, okay, happening. That spend up could be for something um, that you want, need, desire, okay. Um, it may mean that you are kind of losing that fight to be strong, uh, to be sensible, to always do the right thing, okay. That might be, there might be a feeling of I'm so sick of that um, and, and to release that energy. Um, now, that sometimes can be a good thing. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. Sometimes that can be, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I've got to let energy flow. I've got to let it flow through my life. If I keep saying no to my inner child, my inner child is not going to be very good at aff affirming other things. If we're hoarding stuff, we're not flowing. Okay, so sometimes we need to kind of release it and allow more okay release the energy and that's exactly the lesson that you're going to be learning i would say leo's at the beginning of this um next week okay by the middle of the week we have the two of cups and um, two of cups is uh where there's somebody around you and it's, for some of you it will be a romantic connection it will be um a feeling of um attraction um like wow i like that person that person is the sort of person that I want to be in a relationship with, um, or it might be um, it might be a friendship. Sometimes it can be a friendship. Sometimes it can be triggered. Um, you are being triggered to choose the right person for you, either as a friend or or as something more. Okay, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sensing that this person isn't the usual person that you would normally be attracted to or um or befriend okay this person's a little bit different okay um i feel that leo's now the five of cups could be that you're picking up on this attraction or this um lure towards this person 
But five of cups means you might be isolating yourself. You might stop yourself from accepting this new person into your life for some reason. It could be that you are, um, you know, you've been hurt too much before. Um, you don't feel as if it's time for you. It could be that you're already in a relationship and this person is, um, is around you and you can't act on it or you don't want to act on it because you're in a relationship. But that attraction energy is there. So remember, cups can mean friendship or romance, okay? They can mean family issues, okay? It's emotional. We then have the Three of Swords, which is deal with it. Sarcastically saying, just get on with it. Um, stop dilly-dallying, stop lollygagging. It's time to get on with it. So looking at those three cards together, I feel that you're going to get a kick up the bum from your higher self. Your higher self is, is saying to you, we've, uh, we've brought this person to you and there is a reason for it. Now, if you're already in a relationship, then obviously you're not going to want to um, to be tempted by somebody else. OK, and it's funny you had the temptation card as well. So I'm just loving the way that these cards work here. Emotional loss, loss is the five of cups. The green is the five. Look, five of cups. This is the five of cups. So um, it's just uh, I love it. <laughs> I love the way the cards work. So anyway, this to me just says that, uh, you know, it's time to deal with it, time to deal with those, those issues. Why do you think the universe is bringing you somebody to be, to tempt you? Is it because there's something missing in your life? Are you missing that friend? Are you missing that companion? Okay, and that's going to be one of the questions from the middle of the week um, for you guys, Leo. The end of the week princess of swords so this doesn't have a birth sign um it doesn't have an astrology sign with it because it is a princess princesses and pages do not have a birth sign they are are the extra one okay because there's only three uh three and this is swords so this will be air sign there's three air signs isn't there princess you know you've got the princess the prince the queen and the king that means one is is not okay and this is always the pet priest the princess or the page um so this is a young energy or an immature energy and this person knows it all this person knows it all without knowing it all um they can be very opinionated sometimes they can want everything as perfect as it can be um but they don't accept that sometimes that's um that's due to limited understanding of the situation. Okay, you then have the Ten of Wands, which is I'm stuck somehow. Um, I'm stuck. I don't know which way to go. How do I get out of my situation? The Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands, sorry. Ten of Wands. So that's to do with ambition. Okay, it's to do with ambition. How do I get out of this situation I'm in? Um, then you have the the star uh, which is to do with your hopes and your dreams is to do with what you want what you desire what you're going to go for okay so looking at those three cards there together i would say that sometimes we're after perfection when sometimes the universe can't give you perfection they can only give you the next lesson um on your journey to make you the more spiritually evolved person that you decided to be okay so this doesn't happen um, as clearly or um, as, um, as as our wishes desire. It doesn't happen that way. Um, so it's like sometimes we have to learn the lesson quickly. You know, get on with it. Okay, learn the lesson quickly with the deal with it card. Okay, so there's somebody who has got a bit of OCD, somebody who wants everything perfect. I feel to do with um, your ambitions. That could be your job. That could be your work. OK, you're desiring something more or you're wanting that promotion or you're wanting a better financial um, system, OK, put in place. But something is stopping you. So there is a real strong urge to change your life, change the patterns in your life. They are not good enough for you. That's how you're feeling. OK, so that's what I see for Leo's. So going on now to the Sagittarius. I'm just going to have a quick drink. And um, these cards that I'm using are called the um, the Cosmic Deck. 
um, and this is by Norbert Loesch, L-O-S-C-H-E, um, and they're brilliant cards for beginners, okay? Um, so, Sagittarius, okay, let's have a little look at Sagittarius. Okay, let's do the Psychic Tarot. Um, so this is Psychic Tarot by, by John Holland. I've got Sagittarius Moon. Okay, so this is the balance card, wanting everything to be fair um, in life. Now, that mental conflict indicates that you'll feel that it isn't fair. OK, there are lots of things that are doing your head in that you're feeling um, as if, you know, well, how do we get through to this? How do we get past this? Because it just isn't feeling fair. OK. Um, and the, then you have the recognition and reward. So this will become fair. Um, there is going to be some breakthroughs coming. OK, and this is what um, this is this is saying. OK, so looking at those three cards, look, the balance is needed. Um, so this conflict, sometimes with us thinking that everything is bad, that nothing's going to work out right, you know, la, 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 you know, as we go on, um, that isn't helping because we are actually manifesting as we go along. We're manifesting um, our future. We're manifesting um every bit of our creative future we we are manifesting with the way we think so it's to do with um what we deserve what we feel is going to happen you know and you know there's times that we really need to kind of sort our head out and get back in the game and i know this is a message for me because i haven't been feeling so positive as i usually am I'm probably the most positive person um, out there regarding most things, um, but just recently it's been a it's been a struggle. So I do understand these cards for me. Um, do you understand it for you, the Sagittarius guys out there? Okay. So um, let's have a look at uh, what the tarot have to say as well. So Sagittarius. Okay. All right. So the nine of pentacles, um, this is where financial security is around. You're feeling very flush. You're feeling very good. Um, it can mean that your head is screwed on properly regarding what it is that you deserve financially. So it might not be the financial side of things that you're needing to readjust. It could be um, something more, okay, um, than that. So um, so there's a key in our hand here, and this key is to open new doors, uh, new opportunities. So at the beginning of the week, look out for those opportunities. Look out for um, that chance for you to change things, to get this, okay, to get this security. Um, we have the Ace of um, Pentacles, which is a new job, new money, new opportunity opportunity okay it will be coming to you okay um the full card the full card is um stepping off the edge um onto a new pathway going for um a chance you know get on with it i mean it really is um you know trust okay the full card he is blind the story of the fool is he's blind he's standing on the edge of the precipice and he's thinking you know do i step off this cliff or do i stay put because i can't see what's beyond but something's telling me i trust it something's telling me um that i need to so there's a really good opportunity coming for you um guys sagittarius and it will be a money-making scheme a way to get past any obstacles that you have been feeling okay very very good cards those three if i could make them up then they i would make them up like that <laughs> so so yeah very good the middle of the week sagittarius there is a meeting here coming up the beginning of the week the four of pentacles um in this particular card um two is a cosmic deck this is why i see the meeting because you can see desk two people um, this could be doctor, solicitor, bank manager, estate agent, 
Um, it could be an interview for a job. It could be um, a romantic meeting sometimes, depends what the other cards are uh, that we turn over. There's a house in the background here. There's structure here, okay. With the the pillars the four pillars um and there is a telephone old-fashioned telephone there as well which means you might be waiting for um an answer to something important now the three of pentacles is the one before obviously the four um telling the story of finances this is where a job isn't quite finished yet we're wanting the the more more here this is why the meeting is happening um, so if you're drawn to this ladder, it would mean that you're wanting to climb the security ladder. You're wanting to go further. Um, if you're drawn to the box, it could mean you're moving, decorating, changes, getting something new, okay, into your home, okay? It could mean that you're needing help to get moving. Nine of swords, nine of swords is where you've got this feeling going now thoughts are as their thoughts all these thoughts coming at you some of them are hurting some of you them you're not listening to are you nagging someone else or is someone else nagging you what is going on with this situation is that why you're having the meeting or is the meeting so someone can have a nag at you what could that be is it about moving boxes or changes? Is it about a new business, okay, or a plan um, to do with money? Okay, got the pentacles. It's the middle of the week. At the end of the week, you have walking carefully on eggshells. Um, you've got the eight of swords. You can see walking carefully on eggshells. Somebody's drifting away here. Um, you're going, shall I tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, let's, let's talk, let's talk things over. Or is it that you just think maybe they're supposed to drift away? Maybe they aren't supposed to be here, okay, in my life, okay? Um, let's have a look. Um, so the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is um, rushing ahead. It can mean that nothing's stopping you. Wands is ambition, desire. There's nothing stopping you. So this wands, this eight of wands could be travel. It could be movement within a um, a project or you know something that you've started. Okay, something that you desire. It's like here we go, off we go. So what's this drifting away feeling here? So I'll put them all, all three together in a minute. Um, the two of swords. This usually means that you're not talking to somebody who you would normally be talking to. Um, is there a lack of communication going on? OK, are you deciding that you don't want to talk to somebody that you feel that it's the wrong time to talk to that person? And that goes with this. It's like this person's drifting from you. I'm not talking to them. They're not talking to me. What can we do? Um, it could be that you've got a really good opportunity going on here at the end of the week and you're not going to tell the person that you want to tell. Maybe that person wouldn't approve of this new op um, opportunity. OK, so um, there you go. That is for Sagittarius. OK, so we go on to Aries now. OK, cheers. my orange juice so look at that those recognition reward for um sagittarius there mental conflict and balance that all ma matches up what was uh, being said it so i love the way these cards work together they're two different cards um so aries All right, so we've got the fertility card. Now, this doesn't have to be fertility as in a pregnancy, um, although I'm not saying it's not, okay, but it doesn't always have to be. Um, now, this could be um, something coming to fruition, something being ready and ripe, okay? So we'll see what other cards are with it. 
now this one it says solitude on here but sometimes i don't understand what that that doesn't connect with what i see in the card so i scribble it out sometimes um so this one says the the um this is book the book is open to you okay it's ready and willing for you to open the book and understand what your lesson is what is going on with you why are you being blocked or stopped in one way but your opportunity is racing forward in another way what is going on there okay um how can we how can we understand it what can we do okay um and then you have the harmony card okay so this is harmony between um two people whoever those two people are it could be um you know a a family friend um it could be um a long-term friendship it could be your partner it could be um you know work colleague this is the harmony card which says that sometimes we have to see things through their eyes to understand uh, what it's all about now look at those three cards together um sorry about the gloss i'm trying to get the the glare off okay so there is wisdom being taught here there's a lot of wisdom here the book is open to you um maybe it's ripe and ready now for this new relationship maybe you've been wondering well where is my my soulmate where is that person who will understand me more than anyone else in the world where are they um and this just says that i think we're ready this is the ripeness the fertility we're ripe Maybe there is a pregnancy announcement out there for someone. Okay, let's have a look and see what the tarot have to say. So Aries, two of swords, okay. The two of swords is about... Um, yeah it, it, i've said it already it is about the ideas it's about ideas that you don't want to tell other people about ideas that you feel are for you and you alone okay um that you know maybe it doesn't result doesn't term um, it's not in regard to anybody else so it's like i keep it to me we've got the father figure the fatherly character or somebody in authority here okay maybe this person in authority isn't somebody to um to be messed with maybe that they, they need not know yet okay what you are planning sometimes we can be too open and honest which can cause complications um we've got the seven of wands which is this is a challenge that you're setting yourself um can i do this on my own do i need to tell everybody what i'm doing um could it be that um i'm ready to step into my own power um, and go for it okay so um, looking at those three cards together um, you know the ambition is there the time for ambition it's like you're saying come on then universe give me that opportunity that i've been searching for um, give me that maybe i'm not going to ask everybody's advice maybe i'm just going to trust in my own instincts okay so that's the beginning of the week um, by the middle of the week, we have some study, okay, learning, study, and development, okay, okay happening, eight pentacles, learning. Um, it's like opening up your mind to maybe thinking differently, um, opening up your mind to deciding what it is that your, um, you know, that your, your passion is, you know, um, um, sometimes this is about uh, you know education for your children or people around you what are they going through is there something different that they need to be thinking or doing i've got to say to you um on my facebook page um i have um shared um well my mum shared it to me and i thought wow this is amazing there was a conversation that happened and that conversation was for um it was in a classroom. I think it was Rye School. I think it was Rye. Um, I probably need to find that out, don't I? Anyway, the video's on there. So it was, it was videoed at a school in a classroom. And the teacher was obviously teaching about transgender. 
and they were saying if somebody wants to say they are a a cow or they want to say they're a donkey or they want to say that they are a, a parrot they're allowed to be that person and the children in there were questioning and saying there's only two genders there's male female and they were they were very eloquent in what and how they were talking and the teacher was was threatening them with going to the head headmaster um you know you shouldn't be in my classroom you can't um say these things and was absolutely irate just because they would not back all down and say um that there was more than two you know they just said you've either got this chromosome or that chromosome you've either got a penis or you've got a vagina that's it and they were going back and forth and back and forth so it's worth a watch really is worth a watch and i thought well these kids these kids um so yeah sorry about that but the education um maybe you're having a look at how what your children are being taught at school okay is it up to what you want is it something that you feel comfortable with you know what what is going on um, so this is either your education or somebody close to your education. Now, this one would indicate the ch children, okay, because it's to do with um, somebody being naive or sensitive, somebody being vulnerable, okay, and um, because it's a cup, the princess of the cups, it's to do, and it has doesn't have a birth sign with it. Um, so this to me says that um, there is a, um, a feeling here of um, childlike, okay, Okay, energies, um, naivety, um, and this is the, the card that says, Do you know what, I'm happy with who I am, this is who I am, I don't have to be um, told to be different, okay, so I do feel that this is, is linked to um, the education of children, okay, and letting them be comfortable with who they are, okay, and uh, yeah, so anyway, that's what's going on in the middle of the week by the end of the week you have the ace of wands okay ace of wands is a spark an idea um inspired moment okay um that ping moment of um that's what i want to do okay um, it, it can go from from being bored or restless it's like and then this happens now, Seven of Cups, um, Seven of Cups can be where we feel emotionally tormented. We've got lots of people relying on us. Each one of these cups is a choice and a decision that need to be made. In the background, we have a feeling of rejection. One person putting more effort in than another within a relationship. And how does this work out? Um, the hang man life is upside down life is on pause we are waiting um you know we're having to look at things from a different angle maybe somebody else's point of view the end of the week so looking at these three cards together i feel that there is a need for more passion within a relationship um that passion doesn't have to be sexual passion sometimes that can be um in your workplace that can be in a friendship that can be and with family it's like let's do something that we always used to do let's get a, a ball and a bat and let's go to a big field and let's play rounders or let's play baseball or let's play netball or let's play you know whatever um let's do something or let's have a games night that we used to have with the kids it just feels as if that you know let's take ourselves um away from everything being so serious and let's have some fun okay so that's what i see for aries and for the fire signs okay so so now we're going to be doing the air signs after that it will be the water signs and we'll finish off with the earth signs so the air signs will be doing um We'll be doing Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, so um, just have a quick drink. Aquarius. Okay. Right. So Aquarians, funny quirky witty okay think outside the box 
let's have a look see what's going on with you Aquarius okay this is the 19th through the 25th okay fulfillment and wishes so um, this means that you're very serious about changing things um, emotionally being fulfilled okay is is actually a mission we then have the waiting game now the waiting game um, is all about pouring the energy into um, you know a relationship a friendship um, and but you're having to be patient with it you're having to um, let it unfold let it um, transition into what it's supposed to be okay partnerships and alliances so watch out for people around you who've been put in your pathway um, to make a difference um, to help you to make a difference or to um see of your wishes okay so don't miss out on those opportunities because you might feel scared or you feel intimidated you know it's like saying well i think this universe has put that person on your pathway for a, a good reason um so look out for those types of things there okay so so aquarius all right so juggling of money juggling of finances six of pentacles four of cups is a feeling of doubt uh, confusion emotionally four of cups and the queen of wands is usually my sagittarius energy um but this is a person who likes to be in control they like to know what's going on they have um, a vision and they don't really like swaying from that vision okay so there seems to be a project um that has been put into play um that is um creating complications it isn't going in the way that uh, that you would planned that you've wanted that you were passionate about you might have had to change things up by needing extra money perhaps it it cost more money than you first anticipated maybe you've got to be creative in trying to find um more um more finances or maybe you need more energy okay than you first thought um, so yeah there seems to be a little bit of a, um, a hiccup okay it feels as if there's a bit of a hiccup happening at um, the beginning of the week for Aquarius this is my self-employed card it's really the Capricorn energy um, the king of pentacles the reason why it's Capricorn is because you've got the goat at the top there okay can you can see that there's a goat there now goats they climb to the top of the mountains they can get places that other other animals can't get and it's because that they are nimble and they can they can do this um, they're very experienced okay you've got the two of pentacle sorry two yeah two of pentacles this is about training okay so ace would be a new job two would be the training for it the the doing something different the stepping on on new ground maybe going somewhere you've never been before okay um this new uh, it's like a, a new beginning okay to do with money okay it could be self-employed money okay earning money outside of a job okay um the prince of pentacles now this one is your Taurus because it's already done for you this is why these are good cards okay Taurus um, so Taurians are good at um, getting jobs done they complete things they don't like leaving half finished okay um, they will keep going and keep going um, but they don't like being pushed they don't like being told what to do okay but uh, they are your workers so looking at this this feels as if it's a work project or it's a financial project um, it's something that you have done um, it could just be a decorating thing or it could just be a garden thing so the project is um, we've got to step onto new ground we've got to try something different haven't done this before but this is it okay so um it does feel as if it's um off um off on your own or you're being independent with this project 
the Prince of Cups. Now, if it's a water sign, what do you think that might be? Look at this. What do you think the water sign for that would be? Um, so, it's, like I said, it's all done for you. That's Scorpio. Okay, so this is supposed to be Johnny Depp here. Okay, so um, this is uh, um, Scorpios can be romantic, um, but they want something. They will only stick their neck out if they feel that um, they are not going to be rejected. That they are going to be that this is this is a safe bet. Okay, they can be like that. Um, they can have a sting in their tail if they feel as if they're being rejected. Even if there isn't rejection, sometimes they feel as if there is anyway. The two of wands, um, two of wands is the planning and preparation stages to do with a new ambition. Okay, so this could be you have um, an ongoing um, opportunity um, to do with job or to do with your uh, like your project um, but the two is um, paperwork forms documents um, you know filling out um, information the chariot is about looking at things in black and white deciding what you're going to do how you're going to do it okay and um, so looking at these three together at the end of the week for Aquarius um, you've got a lot of deciding to do you've got you've got to make your um you've got to make your impression you've got to do what it is that you know that you um, need to do in order for this project to create momentum um it's new so you might have to do research uh, that research might bring up um you know a format um you know that and that's why you've got to apply that's why you've got to plan ahead okay Okay, um, you are frightened of rejection, so this is causing you to be a bit more careful or a bit more anxious, okay, about things. Okay, so that was Aquarius going into Gemini. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle the rest of the cards in. Bear with me. There we go. All right. So Gemini's, Gemini's. Gemini's get a bad, um, a bad rap, really, because everybody thinks that a Gemini has a good side and a bad side, and they don't have to be like that. Sometimes Gemini's can you know, be quiet, but when you get to know them, they're quite loud. Um, you know, sometimes they can be, um, you know, introvert, extrovert, or sometimes they can be, have a really good sense of humor. When you get to know them, they might be a bit depressive, you know? Um, so yeah, they don't have to have that, um, you know, good or bad, okay? And that's unfortunate, that's what happens. Uh, when people stereotype Gemini's, it's not fair. So let's have a look and see what's going on with our Gemini, lovely people. Okay, so Gemini's, you have the patience card. Um, so look, he's, he's got a seed in his hand. He's put, putting so much energy in there. Um, he is trying to make it flourish. He realizes that he has to have that patience. Um, because it's all going to happen in in its own time okay the material harvest so looking at those two cards together you can see that patience will be rewarded because the harvest is coming and victory and success so um so those three cards together are really saying to you if you can be patient the good stuff is coming the good stuff and the rewards are all there and um, so very good combination there so let's have a look and see what else gemini's have here so next week um this is about going further than you think that you could um, so there's a project that you thought um, you would go to this 
level, um, but you wouldn't go any further. And the universe has said, well, we think you can go further or there's an opportunity to take this further. You know, don't feel as if you can quit now, you know, when everything is going your way. OK, so um, so this is where a gift or a scheme or something. Um, and, uh, you know, this is this is the um, it's good news. It's good news because it's going up a level. You have the Sagittarian energy, Sagittarian energy, the Queen of Wands is the blinkered vision. And I'm going in that direction and no one can stop me. It's the archer up there. OK, you can see the archer, which sh shows you that that is Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarians also like to be in control. Uh, they don't like other people trying to tell them they can't do something either uh, because they will find a way. <laughs> They'll prove you wrong. Uh, Sagittarians will. The three of wands. So look at these. Look at these wands. You know, if that isn't sheer determination, Gemini's, um, you are not going to be grounded or stopped. OK, um, so the three before the four here. Three is celebration. I've done it. I've achieved it. I'm so proud of myself. The four is let's take it to the next level. Let's go further with it. With this card, it says we have the ambition, we have the motivation, and we have the opportunity um, to bring this into um, the next um, level. Okay, it's all good. The moon card um, is about seeing that life has duality. It's saying that, you know, sometimes we have to look um, at the good sides of life. And sometimes we have to say, do you know what? Life is sometimes a bit crap um, and uh, we have to roll with it. OK, the ace of wands can be wrestling. Um, I'm bored. I need to have something to do. Um, the Seven of Cups here says I'm tormented or bogged down with emotions, with my emotional life, with everybody needing something from me. So even though I might be um, bored, I'm not not busy. So this is busy, busy, busy. But this is like doing something, not doing something that you want to do. You're doing something you have to do. Um, and this is basically saying, isn't it time that I had some time of my own um, so that I can spread my wings so that I can follow my ambitions? OK, this is important to you. OK, so that's the middle of the week. By the end of the week, you have the strength card, OK, which is um, basically strength. It's about um you know, using the resources that you have, um, knowing how much you um, are capable of um, will actually get you so much more than you realised. OK, so much more. Um, and sometimes we have to go to the depths of despair sometimes in order for this card to kick in. Um, so we have the two of cups, which is meeting somebody of great significance, meeting somebody who inspires you, um, somebody who maybe you, you know, if you're single, you might really be attracted to this person. Um, if you are um, in a relationship already, it might just be that you're remembering this person triggers what your relationship used to be. It used to be that passionate. Um, my partner used to look at me the same way as they're looking at each other. What's happened? We need a shake up. That's where the strength card comes in the end of the week. Now, the ace of cups is about feeling drained, not feeling as if you are being replenished enough. OK, so in every relationship that you have around you, whether that's friendship, family, uh, whether that's lover, um, you are being asked Am I being appreciated enough? And if not, I want some passion into there. I need to put some energy into there. And if uh, they won't do it, then I will do it myself. OK, so, um, yeah, Gemini's, that's what I see for you. Where is the Gemini? That's really bizarre. There it is. <laughs> Honestly, um, they've swapped around. The banners must have swapped around somehow. 
because Gemini's it was there on screen, but it, yeah, it's been swapped. It's gone up there. So yeah, I was trying to look for the next one, which is Libra. Okay, so we're going to do this is the the um, air signs. Okay, so this is the air signs. Let's uh, complete the air signs here. Okay. John Holland cards and the psychic tarot. So I've got Libra rising. Greg is a triple Libra. Okay. The shadow self. Sometimes we're being asked to look at the other side of us that we don't particularly like other people seeing. It could be um, that we feel as if, you know, um, which we, we don't have this side to us, you know, at all, uh, that we are not that person. And uh, maybe someone else can see something that you can't. Uh, so this is a time to analyze the good and the bad. Okay, the passion ignited. So we have to put that energy in um, in order to get something out. So if you put more effort in, maybe you'll get that back. Okay. And if not, then you know it's like you've got to be responsible. You've got to say, you know, I I can see that I'm a bit like this and I need to give myself that kick. Material and spiritual prosperity. Um, so this is about advancing in our lives and being able to manifest through our own spiritual self, um, being able to manifest and bring what it is that we need. OK, and uh, this to, to me says um, that whatever is lacking in your lives at this time, um, you're addressing it and uh, watch this space because the achievement is there. OK, so let me just have a good shuffle of the cards, make sure that they're all in. OK, so Libra. OK. So Libra 19th through to the 25th. So Libras are going to be doing the juggling of money as well um, financially. Uh, we've got the two of swords, OK, which is maybe not communicating or telling somebody, maybe keeping things to yourself. This card's interesting because this one says the seven of pentacles. It's a gambling card, taking a gamble, taking a risk. OK, now look wherever there's money here it's on barren land it's not really growing there's not enough money coming in whatever effort you're putting in whatever you're um, investing in it's not making enough money so sometimes it's time to reinvent ourselves sometimes it's time to say do you know what that old thing it's not working so what is it that i need to do especially if you're self-employed um so we've got two more coins here we've got this much energy what do we do with this energy then um what, what do we do with these gifts what do we do with this talent okay um and i do feel as if that is going to be called for or asked for um and maybe you're not going to tell other people about it until you've decided what you're going to reinvent uh, within yourself um the middle of the week you have the six of cups Six of Cups is where one person is putting more effort in than the other within a relationship. That relationship could be um, love life. It could be um, family. It could be friends. Whoever that is, it's like I am noticing that there is more effort being put in um, and we need to change that. This is, um, if I said to you, that symbol there if you can see that it's like a hook okay so if that's a fire sign that symbol um, it's like that symbol it's like an m but the middle bit is longer um that is aries okay so that's all done for you so the aries energy is like taking charge being manly about it or being um um it's like masculine energy 
okay it's like the warrior within you is going to grow and it's like you're taking charge of this you're making everybody know um that you're noticing that that you're being treated badly or you're not being treated with respect now you don't have to do this verbally sometimes you can do this with your actions okay but something is going to be happening here um, this is the I'm letting go walking away. I, I feel as if I'm done. I can't do any more than I'm doing. So I do feel as if you are going to be backing away from certain people, pulling back, um, allowing them to notice um, that you're not around as much, that you know you are displeased with their behavior or that you're realizing where you stand, okay, within that partnership, within that friendship, within that relationship. It's like, okay, that's where we are then, okay, I'll play by those rules then, shall I? Um, so it's not very nice a feeling of that, but there seems to be something kicking off around the middle of the week. Ten of Pentacles, money, financial um, um, enhancement, um, feeling wealthy um glowing with gratitude energy it's actually a very powerful um financial um it's like a very positive card okay now it is next to the doubt card the confusion okay so let's see what else we've got self-employment so there seems to be a bit of a doubt regarding our self-employed business should i get a job should i work for someone else what should I do in order to get more money coming in? How do I recreate myself? So it's very similar to what we had the middle of the week, which is about re or was at the beginning of the week, recreating our own self. Yeah, with the I've got these gifts. Um, what do I do with them? So this to me says there's a self-employment energy. It could be that you're not being appreciated in your job okay and this it's like want to change something different i don't know if that was a that cut out or anything but i'm going to repeat that yes this is about kind of like um um i'm going to do something different or i'm going to um, act differently or you know i'm going to take things into a different level so this is where i need to earn more money or i've decided i'm worth more okay i'm worth more and therefore um i'm no longer going to doubt myself okay very very important okay so that's all the air signs so so far we have done the fire signs and the earth signs um so the last ones left out of this we're going to be doing the water signs and then the earth signs um so let's go into so we're in the water which is scorpio um scorpio pisces and cancer okay scorpio pisces and cancer okay i've dropped my phone on the floor so i'm just gonna grab it because i do want to record this um for my my girls um and my mum because we're all water signs um me and my mum pisces my daughter megan is cancerian and my lovely Rhea is scorpio so I like to record them for them. Okay. Right. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpios. Um, so this is um, reading for the 19th through to the 25th of June. Okay, so let's see what the um, psychic tarot cards are. Um, psychic tarot for the um with john holland um i'm now doing um written um automatic writing readings so if anybody does want one of those um i'm doing them at the moment um there's an offer at the moment it is 20 pounds and that's 20 pounds um and that is for um uh three months okay it's a three month reading for 20 pounds so if anybody does want one of those please message me it's a photo reading okay so i'm offering photo reading so you send me a photo um and um i do a reading with that and it's typed out it's automatic typing so um yeah if you want that um please message me on psychic alley 
121 at gmail.com um, or you can go to um, the website and go there okay and um, that's uh, psychical.net okay so let's have a look and see what you want to tell Scorpios all right so um so memories of love so sometimes this is about for, um, um people and people around us who are there anymore and those good feelings there's that loss um that feeling of either grief or that feeling of um you know that person is no longer a friend um you know we've you know taken that um, into account it's like will this ever be any different um, the triumph and success card means that yes there is a very good chance that this could mend uh, that there could be something coming about that could change things up slightly okay um, it can also mean that you will get through this um, and that you may accept it okay that that might be easier Sometimes that can be what the triumph and success card means. Sometimes these, this person or these people, it could be that they um, have been holding you back in some way, either emotionally, physically, financially, um, whichever way, mentally maybe, okay? And now things are different. So whatever the outcome is, it's going to be triumphant. The discontent and boredom, sometimes... Um, you've got to understand that they might be the ones that will feel discontent and bored because maybe you're not in their life and they will miss you, okay, that they will be missing you. And that could be where this uh, reconciliation could come in. Um, now, it won't be for everybody. Um, sometimes it will be that they've severed enough that it's not going to, it's not going to be able to reattach. Um, if that is the case, then this triumph of success card comes in and says, you will be fine. You will be OK. Don't worry. OK, um, you have enough strength. You have enough personality um, to get through this. OK, and if there's other people involved, then you will also get them through it as well. OK, where the triumphant cards are. So I'm going to um, now look at the tarot see what they have to say there okay so this is um 19th through the 20th just of june i'm just reminding my guides here here we go all right so this is a bit of a sulker okay you can see by the face there bit of a sulker it's the princess of wands princesses pages remember do not have any birth signs attached to them because there are four court cards um personality cards in a tarot deck and there are only three wands is fire signs so there are only uh, three fire signs so this is always without one but it's always the immature or the young energy and this is one so this would be young energy to do with fire desire i want it i want it now um i don't care how i get it but i don't want to do anything for it so this is somebody who's being a bit stubborn somebody who is you know feeling as if they um they deserve so much more um but uh, in reality reality they're not putting any effort in okay now we've got the walking on eggshells card here so we've got the eight of swords so you, you can see they're tippy toeing around each other maybe they're sick of tippy toeing around each other maybe there's something that wants to be said but um they're trying their hardest to be fair trying their hard to be you know um you know uh, polite you know but maybe there's something just brewing up here um and having to you know swallow it down maybe um now this is the positive card that says future future positivity six of swords i see where i'm going now my, my mom sings this i can see clearly now the rain has gone this is this is my mum's card i love you mum. i love you um so she basically says you know that uh, that song um that the clouds have now dispersed and there is sunlight and you can see uh, clearly so um looking at this um 
it's like you have been walking on eggshells this is indicating you won't always have to okay um so things will get better so whoever is sulking it doesn't have to be sulking anymore okay so beginning of the week um, by the middle of the week you have the hanged man so life is upside down we're waiting uh, to see what develops uh, everything is pending everything is waiting i'm looking at things from your point of view from my point of view from everybody's point of view the hierophant um hierophant hierophant um this here is um you know being able to visualize or see um differently clearly being able to see where we're going now okay um, maybe you're getting a download um um you know message from spirit that comes in that says oh my goodness that's what i want that's what i'm going to do okay so this is like that ping moment um but it's spiritually okay so sometimes we're able to see things from um a different religion energy okay or um somebody's belief systems we don't have to uh, accept it we don't have to have that in our life but at least you probably see why they are doing what they are doing maybe uh, and the outside, this card looks like wow uh, you imagine swords of thoughts okay so all these thoughts ideas opinions coming at you ten of swords it's like i'm gonna tell you what i think and da, 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 da. it's all coming at you now this is like they're in a straight jacket and it's like you know when somebody says that one thing too much and it's like that's it you're going to have it and you're going to really tell them what you think um and it's going to come out and it won't be filtered and it might piss people off okay i'm sorry but it might um so this is what's kind of happening and it's coming from a spiritual place but it still might not be good for others um and it could be that you've been looking at things from a different angle you've tried to understand their point of view maybe you don't understand their point of view even though you've tried you know because that's like looking at things from a different angle but um yeah um so we'll see how this ends up the end of the end of the week um well we've got the nine of swords so again we've got swords we've got the thoughts um other people are trying to tell you um you know gossip trying to get you to convince you um that they know best or you know maybe somebody's trying to stir the pot a little bit and uh, um, trying to oh we've cut it then um yeah maybe they're trying to manipulate um the situation um so be aware of gossip try not to listen Look, he's putting his hands over his ears going i'm not listening i don't want to know third hand information um try to move on maybe from um problems so you then have the princess of swords which again is one of those um cards that doesn't have a birth sign to it so it would be the immaturity within that sign which is swords um this is some Somebody who thinks they know everything um they um they've got opinions on everything but they are they've got naive opinions okay and um the other card with it is boundaries so i do feel as if you're going to be putting up some strong boundaries to somebody who's gossiping or somebody who's trying to get involved with things that they shouldn't be getting involved with okay so this gossip energy has got to change somehow um i do feel as though um there is a need to pull ranks maybe um to get your your loved ones the ones that are in your circle to bring them closer to you um and to close ranks um you know to protect to put put to put each one of your loved ones in a bubble with you okay so um scorpios i feel as if there's a lot of mind games going on i'm afraid um there's a lot of um, um disinformation so be careful go to the source uh, straight to the source before you react because there are um information that is going awry okay information that isn't going um it's not all valid information okay so that is what I see for um, Scorpios. Okay. So 
going on to Pisces now. Pisces, Pisces. So Pisces, 19th through to the 25th of June, 2023. Okay. Um, so this is me and my mum. Hi, mama. Um, so this is me and mum. We're both Pisces. So um, let's have a look and see what the John Holland Tarot has to say, first of all. Okay, let's go into that. Right. Trapped in fear. Are you not doing something because you fear it? I understand this lesson totally. I'm going to share something with you. This is a very personal thing I'm going to share with you, um, but it is the state of what's going on out there. Now, most people know that I have pain. I have pain 24 hours a day. Um, it doesn't let up. I have, I've had it for a long time. I've got a, um, a condition called Ilos Danos Syndrome, EDS, uh, which is called hypermobility, which means that I was always very flexible. And what happens later in life is you get early onset of arthritis and um, that can cause problems with walking. It can cause problems with getting about and um, things like that. So anyway, that's what I have. Um, and I need constant painkillers. So when your doc, when you go to collect your painkillers, you put your prescription in, your repeat prescription that you've been having for a long, long time. You put your repeat prescription in, and your chemist then says, "We only, we've only issued you this." And you say, "What about my pain relief?" And they've said, "Don't know." There's 25 minutes left um, on a Friday, knowing that the surgery is going to be closed on Saturday, Sunday, you have 25 minutes to find out why they've not issued your pain release, pain, your painkillers with none left. You go over to the, I stumbled across to my doctors. The receptionist said, um, you're down for a medical um, review on your pain relief. So they've blocked your tablets without any warning, no warning whatsoever. So they now I've got a whole weekend without any pain relief with, you know, I'm on a controlled drug pain relief. You take somebody on a controlled, a controlled drug pain relief, you give them no pain relief for the weekend. And you tell me that that person is not going to be in a hell of a state because you can't one take pain relief off somebody who needs it every day and two you're going to go through withdrawal as well as that that is what i was facing so when this trapped in fear card comes up i know exactly what that is you wouldn't treat a dog like that but they're treating human beings like that so yeah <laughs> That's the state of things. So anyway, the trapped in fear um, element is about right there. OK, because you can't help it. You, you can't help being in that fear. Um, so anyway, rest and rejuvenation. So these cards are really um, very apt at the moment. So obviously they are apt to me, but they, they will be right for you as well. OK, because this is for Pisces in general. Um, but um, is there something stopping you from getting what it is that you want or need? Um, the rest and rejuvenation. Sometimes we have to um, slow things down. This is why I'm not doing this live because I didn't know how I was going to be emotionally um, or how my pain levels were going to be. This is why I've had to record this particular astrology reading this week. Um, so I've had to save up the last of my pills um, to do this. Okay to do this so yeah um so yeah the rest of rejuvenation here um financial and material changes so look out for um new opportunities look out for different ways to earn money different ways of looking at your um your financial structure maybe you're paying out on things that you really don't need um you know you don't need you don't want you don't you don't have to have and um, so i do feel as if you're going to be having a bit of a a juggle up there um 
and a rearranging, um, okay, financially, Pisces. So let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot with Pisces. Okay, this is for this next week. Okay, justice. Okay, so um, maybe I will get justice uh, because I am writing an, an amazing letter uh, to my doctor and um, yeah, not impressed at all. Um, the way that they should have done that is to say, we're gonna be re reviewing next month. So I had a month to make an appointment to see a doctor to review my pain relief for the next month. They should have given me notice. It should not have just been dumped at me. So there, justice, maybe there is gonna be justice. Now for other Pisces, this could be that you have been um, wanting recognition for um for a job well done maybe this is in work maybe this is in you know um a relationship um it could be that there are some legal things or official things that need to be sorted out okay um now we do have the gemini card okay but this is also this gemini card also has another side to it another um um another um wording to it okay so it does it, this is nothing to do with gemini's okay but look at this lady's face so ignore the fact this is gemini because the gemini side there so ignore that that person says there is a two-sided thing there is some double crossing there is some um interference energy that is coming into play now sometimes that interference can be um, spiritual interference sometimes that can be um you know the dark side energy um entity energy sometimes that can be you know trying to play havoc if it can't get through to you um on an energetic level then sometimes it works out in other ways um so watch out for that so if you've got a run of bad luck then it means that your guides need to give it a kick your guides need to come in with more protection. If that means they need to bring in other protective energies, then so be it. Okay, so let's have a look and see here. Um, the Prince of Wands. Okay, so the Prince of Wands. Now, this is where somebody is either angry or frustrated. This is shielded. Um, so this can be somebody who's shielding their anger or shielding their, their pain. Um, it could be that they've got a lot more strength than they realize, um, that they didn't realize that they could do or had this much power, and therefore they're going to progress um, forward, okay? So, yeah, this to me says that it is time to renew your power, okay? Um, it can also mean this is a Leo card as well. So I always see, there's two things that I see. I see the astrology sign that's linked to the sign, and then there are other things that trigger um, words I say. Okay, so it's not always just the Leo. Um, but this particular Leo energy here is where we get bored easily, you know? It's like, oh, I can't believe this. I need to do more, you know? I've got to get on with things, you know? Um, so I do feel as if um, sometimes, you know, life has to um, life has to be shaken up in order for new things to come about. And sometimes we hit dead ends um, and sometimes we have to, um, you know, rearrange things and re re recreate our future. So I do feel there's going to be something like that happening um by the end of this next week uh, for pisces okay um so there you go that's what i see for pisces so i'm just stopping that um okay so we're going to be doing cancerians okay Okay, so this is for Cancerians. Um, let's change the banner. So this is for my other daughter. This is for Megan. Um, and um, this is for the 19th through to the 25th of June. Um, and other Cancerians out there. Okay, let's have a look and see what the John Holland Psychic Tarot cards want to tell you. 
Okay, let's move it to move those out of there. All right, let's have a little, let's have a quick drink. Right. Accelerated motion. Well, this is saying that you have the ability to just go for it. Um, your dreams, your wishes, that star indicates your dreams. There is nothing stopping you. Um, it is literally go, go, go. Okay, go, go, go. It's time. It's time that you went on uh, to do what you know that you're capable of. Okay, um, movement choices and decisions okay um this is to do with your finances it's to do with your material side of life okay um so which door are you going to open are you going to open the door from the past and keep going into the past and worrying about the past and you know or are you going to go into the present and and think about all the things that might be obst you know might be obstacles that might be all and positive affirmations for the future. Okay, positive I'm successful, thinking already that I am um I have the ability um to do so much more. Okay. Foundations and achievements. Um so this means that you've got the the foundations already. So this means gifts, talents, this means the ability it can can mean that you're in a good position uh, to maybe change things or shake things up. Um, so when this happens, um, the universe is backing you up 100%. The accelerated motion card, it's saying time is right now. This is the time. Okay, so let's have a see what the tarot have to say. Um, this with Cancerians for the 19th through the 25th of June 2023. Remember, there are there is information in each of these, whether it's your sign or not. My guides deliberately add in um, information, knowledge, and and uh, prediction. So the three of wands is initial success. It's a, a celebration, a personal feeling of, I'm so proud of myself that I did that. I'm so proud I can do more. The seven of swords. The seven of swords means I still have to protect myself or look after myself. Um, I need to wrap myself up in cotton wool. Now this card can mean if you've got health matters that you're needed to nurture those. Um, um, if you are feeling um, either mentally or emotionally, um, you're feeling overwhelmed, then sometimes we have to step back and slow down a little bit um, and protect ourselves, do things that make your inner child feel better. Uh, so sometimes that means if things are going to, things are being too overwhelming um, then go into something like losing yourself in um, like a box set or a, a film um, or doing some drawing or coloring or whatever it is that, that that calms you they're saying make sure you know and you know you can be very proud of yourself but you also need to you know um, work on your limitations as well work work on that. Um, the four of cups means that sometimes there can be depression there can be a low vibe or a low feeling. Um, so if there are anybody out there who is feeling overwhelmed emotionally, um, this card says, you know, when we have doubts, we have to write the pros and the cons down. Um, you know, but equally, we have to honor the fact that we deserve sometimes to be pissed off, sorry, uh, but sometimes we do sometimes it's like saying well yeah i do have this 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 and this but i don't have that or that isn't that is not fair um so there is certain things that you're having to honor okay within your own life okay and the beginning of the week means getting all of that under control mentally physically emotionally sometimes it could be about your pain it could be about your emotional pain your mental whatever that is 
Um, so we have the young um, cup card, the Princess of Cups, which, as you know, doesn't have a birth sign to it because there are four court cards and there are only three water signs. OK, water signs is cups. Cups is water. Um, so this doesn't have a birth sign to it, but it is the young energy to do with emotions, cups, water, emotions. Um, so emotionally, um, um, is there somebody young? Um, this could be a child or a childlike adult or an adult that feels very vulnerable. OK, that's what that card indicates. The judgment card, which is breaking free from restrictions. So you can see there are chains here um, and there is a breaking free. We are no longer going to be stuck. We are not going to let ourselves be stuck. The judgment card is I will not be judged either. OK, as well. Um, we have the Scorpio energy. So this is a Scorpio character. Um, so this can be a Scorpio in your life or somebody who does have a, a, um, a sting in their tail in, in your tail. Maybe there is something that has triggered you um, to react okay in some way um but either way it's like understand where it might come in from and sometimes we can process this all all this information we can process it and come to a balanced reaction or we come to a balanced feeling okay and that's the middle of um next week for cancerians by the end of next week we have the two of cups which is an attraction okay now, this attraction, like I said in the rest of these, um, the attraction can be being attracted to a, um, a person, whether that's a friend, whether that is a partner. Um, for others, it can be another, it can be an animal, it can be getting a new pet, it, it can be connecting with a pet or connecting with you know somebody that you really care for um so yeah sometimes if you're single this could be an admirer uh, this could be somebody who um you you feel very strongly about you know it's like uh, we have this this connection that can't be explained ace of cups this can sometimes indicate that we feel lonely or we feel alone um we need love appreciation we need somebody to say hey how are you are you okay um and that feeling and sometimes it's difficult when you are in a position where i mean cancerians you can put a hard front on you can act tough but actually there is a vulnerability inside okay which sometimes is difficult so it's like i'm fine i'm fine don't fuss over me but inside, we might be feeling, I want you to fuss over me or, you know, I want you to try and break down my barriers. OK, so it is um, it, there's a tricky energy going on around Cancerians. OK, so this uh, the four of wands means going further with your ambitions. So this is understanding your talents, understanding that you have gifts, that you are very good at what you're doing and you could take it further if you wanted to. Um, and that is the thing. That is the thing. Do you want to? Or is it something that, that you know that you've got to kind of be ready for and maybe you're not quite ready but you it could be preparation okay getting ready for that okay so there you go um and that is for all the that's the water signs finished there okay so we're gonna do the last ones now which is the, the earth signs and this will be taurus virgo and capricorn and that will finish off all of the astrology uh, readings there okay so Taurus, let's have a quick drink. Okay, let's see what these say. Psychic tarot. There's a rook or crow. I'm here and outside here. So I don't know if you guys can hear that on here, but uh, yeah. That's quite funny. Okay. Ooh, it's not letting me finish my... 
there. <laughs> Wouldn't let me stop my recording there. Okay, so we start off with prosperity begins. Okay, um, so this this is um, from this seed. There is now an opportunity. It's becoming ripe. Okay, so you are receiving. Um, you're receiving rewards from what it is that you have um, been working hard on. And that could be skills that you've had for years. You know, this opportunity is right now and it is because you've concentrated on it. Um, so whatever we concentrate on, we get it back. OK. Hope. What wonderful cards you've got here. So hope because you have put that hope and that desire out there. Um, this is where this all starts off, okay, um, this abundance, spiritual union. So, you know, all round, Taurians, there's some very good cards here. This is indicating friendship or a partnership. Partnership, because we've got some kind of material energy here, this could be a partnership of money, work, um, or it could be for others of you, it will be a love life connection or a friendship. Um, but this is really the connection um, is going very strong here. There are a lot of dreams and happiness here. Um, you've put out lots of hope. OK, and uh, you are ready to receive that back. Um, and the money is going to start to flow in there. So that's new money um, is uh, really strong. So that's good for you guys, Taurus. That's lovely. All right. So let's have a look for more information. Right. Oh, two cards there. So the full. Um, the full card is stepping off the ed edge into the unknown. Um, it's a gut feeling. My gut feeling is telling me to do it. My gut feeling is pushing me on and, and onwards for this. Um, so this is about trusting your gut feeling, trusting yourself. The eight of wands is travel, movement, travel. This can be vehicles. This can be uh, public transport. This can be long distance um, driving, long distances. Um, this can be to do with, you know, a project and it's saying nothing's stopping you. Um, so this is very interesting that you have the hope card and you had the prosperity begins that all goes with this. Like there's nothing stopping you. Take that leap of faith. You know, um, there, this is the obstacles card that says, you know, you can see the ten of wands. It's whichever way I feel as if I'm trying to get out of this situation. There is another obstacle well all of that goes away because this cancels out now um when you see this opportunity just firing up opportunity is ready 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 um so it's like don't look back don't look at the past don't look at the past obstacles don't look at what might have uh, caused a problem in the past because this is saying there's no problem there now um here we go very very positive cards so that was the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, you have the six of pentacles, which is to do with money again, um, money or energy. And this is juggling. We're juggling money. This wouldn't be normal juggling. This would have to be um, moving money around, uh, doing something different with your money, um, you know, putting putting money here or here or here because um, there needs to be some changes. The six, seven of wands, seven of wands is um, really fired up and ready. Come on, then. I've had some good. Um, I've had some good luck. I've had good opportunities. And now I want the universe to bring me another challenge. Bring me another challenge so that I can go forward um, so that I can progress. It's like I'm on a roll. OK, universe, we're on a roll. You know, show me the next next pathway, the next stepping stone. Now, the moon card says that we have to honor um, the the good and the bad. And sometimes in life uh, we have um, um, lessons that we're having to learn. And so we might feel as if we, we deserve this. But sometimes the universe throws a bit of a spanner in the works. Now, has that happened already? Has there been a spanner in the works 
have you had to show um you, you know your abilities have you had to you know stand up when um everything kept knocking you down um and you kept standing up and standing up well this is saying um well you know you're you're facing that you're facing the fact that you know you know life hasn't been easy but you've learned a lot and because you've learned a lot um you no longer have to keep learning the same thing over and over and over again the chariot um this is a fast paced decision that you feel as if you have to make okay this fast paced decision um, now, this is like saying I'm going to I'm racing up to a crossroads and that crossroads it means I've either got to go in that direction or that direction or it means I've got to stay doing what I'm doing, even though there is temptation to do this or this. There are times that you have to look over um, paperwork, look at th look at um the positives and negatives within a situation. Um, sometimes the chariot involves a car, vehicle or travel uh, uh, as well, um, weighing up the pros and the cons, okay? Um, the two of pentacles is stepping forward on new ground. You can see he's a bit nervous. He's stepping forward. He's frightened of unexpected problems. OK, but he needs to just step carefully forward at the end of the week. Um, understand that, uh, you know, he has the ability to do this. This is study, learning, education. Um, this is research. This is looking into things. So sometimes this education can be education um, for a child or um, a young adult. Sometimes this can be your own education, um, doing a course, um, um, you know, putting your name down for something, a workshop or something. So this to me says um, it's time to expand your knowledge. OK, um, this may take you on a journey that might bring you what it is that you want. Um, it's new beginnings. So maybe this is a new education or learning a new gift. OK, and uh, so I feel that that is something that you are thinking of doing. OK, um, expanding your skills, um, look out for a child or children, OK, as well. And their education that's coming up again um, and go and watch, if you can, um, my Facebook. And I know that there's a lot of posts my mum puts on there, but there's one particular one is about the children and it is about this school. And these children are really um very articulate in calling out the teacher and saying you know about the gender stuff the the uh, transgender um you know pushing that and uh, what they think of it so very good and i love those children i think those children are doing brilliant um absolutely brilliant so um so we're going to go into virgos now Okay, so the last one after this is Cap uh, Capricorn, and then we are uh, finished with the astrology this week. If anybody does want a reading with me, you can go here, um, psychicalley.net here, um, and uh, you can um, join me for a reading. Readings are, um, you can have a two hour reading, which is an in-depth one. Um, you can have um, an hour reading. I am going to put up the 90 minute ones. I'm going to be putting up those. Um, so, yeah, let's have a little look and see what they want to say to Virgos. OK. All right. So awareness. Um, awareness, being aware that the universe is trying to tell you something. If you keep coming up with an obstacle and another obstacle and another obstacle when you're trying to go um, down a certain pathway, then we have to learn from that. We have to say, do you know what the universe is trying to tell me? It's not time. It's not the right time. Um, you know, something is stopping us. Uh, maybe we've got to look at things from a different angle, different way. You know, what is really going on okay um and uh, you know sometimes that's a hard lesson to learn um so choose wisely so quite apt with this card really choose wisely 
you know, um, emotionally, physically, mentally, financially, choose wisely. Can't really say much more about that. But sometimes we have to move on um, from any pathway that is like a dead end. It's like it's a dead end again, and it's another obstacle, and it's a dead end. It's like we're trying to swim upstream. Upstream is not going to help you get what it is that you have decided you want the universe might be looking after you the universe um knows what it is that you desire so um watch the universe uh for signs okay that are they might seem obvious but we don't want to see them okay so virgos let's have a look and see what this next week is for you 19th through to the 25th of june Okay, we have the judgment card. Um, so you're about to break free from any restrictions that you feel as if you've been in. Okay, this is about unshackling yourself from um, positions of um, I shouldn't be in this position or this shouldn't be right or, you know, I deserve more. Okay, um, I'm sick of being judged. Um, just by being myself or you know um, this is unnecessary or something like that it's like whatever you feel is, is is holding you back the judgment card comes along and says no not anymore we have the Scorpio card the prince of cups this can be a, a bit of a sting in the tail is someone around you being a little bit defensive are you asking them a perfectly simple question that they're getting defensive and um, if so why are they getting defensive is it because they're hiding something or is it that you are triggering something within them that they are not ready for or happy with okay what is going on so again we're going into that awareness card again aren't we beginning of the week um we have the naivety the sensitivity again the princess of cups um, so this is the one that doesn't have a birth signs with it um, so cups is linked with water it's also emotions okay so emotionally is there somebody around you who's feeling a bit overwhelmed is there somebody like a child that's feeling overwhelmed and a child that is reacting badly and um it's like they're just really playing up at the moment they're really not um not being good um, if so, why are they not being good? See if you can't get to the bottom of it. Um, ask questions. Ask questions. There was something very interesting happened. Um, and I, I can't tell you too much detail, but I'm going to pass on the knowledge that I got from it. If something bad is happening to a child out there, sometimes we have to ask them a question are you okay don't just accept once keep asking are you okay is there anything that i can do for you um what do you need can i be of assistance you can trust me um so sometimes we need to ask because um what happened it within a reading it was like um, this person said, if this person had been asked more often, they would have given in and told and they would have got the help that they needed. But they wasn't asked enough. So watch out for that. That might be an indication. Is there a child around? And remember, these readings are not just for Virgos. OK, this would be um, a global um, prediction. If you're around children and a child is acting up or a child is acting in a different way, different behavior, ask that child, is everything OK? Make sure that that child is on their own OK when you ask them, OK? Are they OK? Is there anything that can be done? Maybe uh, there has to be a trust. Does that make sense that comes in? I don't know, but uh, it just feels as if uh, there is going to be some revelations coming up um, around the um, beginning of the week, not just for Virgos, but uh, for others as well. 
uh, Prince of Swords, Prince of Swords. Um, this person is well read. This person understands more than you realize. Um, so this is an Aquarian card. Okay, we've got the um, the double zigzag there in the lapel. So that is um, it's an Aquarian card, but this doesn't have to be, um, you know, the Aquarian sign. Okay, um, so this is somebody who's funny. This is somebody who's got a good sense of humor. Um, they like to uh, rise above problems. They don't really like um, being sensible or serious when even sometimes when they should. Um, so this is a person who is trying to um, break everybody's um, seriousness. Okay, this person is going to be out um in in uh out out there trying to be the life and soul okay um there is an emotional energy going on where it's overwhelming emotions this person might be taking things too lightly to realize that there's something bigger than just um laughing it off um there's something else going on and this is the middle of the week remember um so this year is about to do with ambitions. It's like I, I can go forward, but there is something that I need from you to give me the confidence to do it and don't keep laughing it off. Um, so is there someone around you who you need to take things more seriously? Um, you know, you like their humor. You like the fact that they make you laugh. You like the fact um, that they are the life and soul of the party. But when it comes to it, are they actually... Are they actually going to help you when you need it? OK, so um, so there seems to be a bit of a conversation that is going to be happening with um, a person close to you. Um, if it's you that's um, the life and soul, the laughter person, um, maybe you're having to make decisions um, and, and try to be a bit more caring um, or considerate, OK, without trying to just make everybody laugh. Sometimes there's something bigger than that. Um, happening um, by the end of the week we have the three of cups which is love lust it can be celebration um, of family um, it can be um, intensity within two people um, a deepening of a relationship more commitment within a relationship so three of cups are so many different meanings here um, this is a celebration. Um, this could be a wedding. This could be um, a christening. This could be a birthday, a get together with family, friends. OK, party energy. Um, there is something to celebrate here. Um, the energy of that. We've got the Hierophant, which is about spiritually. Um, it's about spiritual progression. The end of the week. It's about um, being happy, being excited about um, the fact that spiritually things are changing, developing, or getting better in some way. Okay, so definitely something to celebrate um, um, at the end of the week uh, for Virgos and for others as well. So there you go. That is for Virgos. And we're now going to go on to Capricorns. Okay, Capricorns. Let's have a look. So Capricorns, Capricorns. Let's see what the Psychic Tarot have to say about Capricorns. All right. The intuition. Okay. Um, it takes intuition to know when the universe is ready to tell you what it's all about, okay? Um, when, when to hold back, uh, when to wait. Um, yeah, it, it's like um, being in tune with the flow of energy. So it's being in the flow or it's you feel as if you're not you're out of it slightly so look out for energies look out for um things that seem to be just slotting into place perfectly um you know that's working out this is working out that's working out everything is just 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 into um in in harmony um so there's the intuition energy there um now this is the heart heartache and loss 
So if there has been things around you that have brought you to feeling sad, feeling um, alone, or feeling as though you, um, you know, you didn't get what it is that you wanted, okay, or something is now missing from your particular life, um, what did it teach you? The intuition, what did that teach you? Um, how does that work in your life plan, um, in your reality, okay, spiritually, what have you learned? Will it create more positive movement forward? Um, so from that lesson um, of pain here, emotional pain, um, that's what's coming. So Capricorns, watch out for this now, because that is go, go, go. The pain is in the past. The pain has been there um, for too long now. And it's not going to help you um, in the long run to keep holding on to that pain, to that, because it's blocking. It's blocking the future happiness. Um, and so this to me says it's time now to release it. It's time now to see where destiny now takes you. OK, so let's have a look and see what the tarot have to say. So the tarot cards I'm using is the Cosmic Deck by Norbert Loesch, L-O-S-C-H-E. Very good beginner's cards. All right. So we've had this card many times. So we have the six of pentacles, juggling money, doing something different regarding your money. Um, ha there has been obstacles. It's been like, you know, on my ambition. So things that I've wanted to do, desired, um, I haven't been able to do. Maybe you're now juggling money around so that you can do these things so that this doesn't create more obstacles. Um, and look, that's the go, go, go card as well. Um, this is exactly the same card, the wands card. It's like eight of wands going, go for it. Nothing's stopping you. Positive movement forward, the eight and the eight cards, okay? Eight of wands, eight of wands. It's going further, onwards, upwards, okay? Beginning of the week. So, you know, where you saw obstacles, there won't be, okay? The, that is all changing now, Capricorns. Uh, the middle of the week, the full card says, I'm going to um, throw myself into this project. Um, I'm going to take that leap of faith. I'm not going to let that stop me. This is the hard work card. So this is the plodder. Um, so it's going to take daily amounts of energy. OK, it's not just going to be um, a leap of faith. It's not just going to be... Um, you know, oh, it'll just happen. You've got to put the work in. Yes, you've got to take the leap of faith, but you've then got to put the, the work in there. OK, the two of swords. Sometimes it means not telling other people about it in case they pour in some negative remarks, negative responses, um, making you feel as though, you know, you don't know what you're talking about or, you know, what you're doing that for. You're wasting your time. All of those negative remarks, it's like we need to cancel, clear, delete those. Visualize it as an eraser, erasing out that negative remark and put it in its place, positive ones like I've done it. Um, I am. Um, I'm a person who achieves things. Um, I'm going to be successful, you know, triumphant. OK, so no more. Sometimes we have to stop talking to certain people who just have that negative response energy. OK, so by the middle of the week, um, you know, you've got that take a leap of faith and work at it. And and, you know, ripeness is coming your way. So by the end of the week, end of the week, this is the Aries energy. Aries energy is I'm the boss or um, I am the one who's achieving things. I am the one who can put things into place and make everything grow, make it blossom. Very, very um, dominant card. Um, you then have the, um, the, sometimes we have to put our fear behind bars. Sometimes we have to maybe use the fear 
or use obstacles to catapult us forward and say, well, yeah, that used to be an obstacle, but it's not anymore. You know, um, you know, when these um, sales ads come on and it's like uh, this person used to not have any money and now they do. It's like they use the fact that they didn't have money or that they weren't successful. They use it to say, now I am. OK, so use the knowledge that you've learned in the past to become this positive energy in your future. The Wheel of Fortune, it's all about change. Um, if you, then who? If you don't deserve it, then who does more than you? So think about that. Think about that. Say, I do deserve. And say it as a mantra, I deserve I deserve, I deserve, I am a, an achiever, I, I have financial abundance, um, I am successful. Um, and that will just start to come to you. So I do feel Capricorns and everybody, it's time to start manifesting what it is you want. Don't ask yourself maybe, maybe I will or, um, you know, um, just say you know or ask somebody and say do you see this happening or do you see uh, me getting this it's like saying instead of that just say actually I'm going to manifest it I don't need to ask if I'm going to because I'm going to um, because I've just ordered it I've just cosmic ordered what it is that I want I cosmic ordered what it is that I need and here comes Mo just to reiterate that don't you Mo just saying, yes, you can have whatever you want. Is that right, Mo? He says, yes. Don't you, darling? Bless him. And that's he's going to put his tail right in the camera. Yep, his bottom. There you go. So, hey, my darling. Bless him. So, anyway, that's what I see for all the signs. Um, take care. And um, if you want a reading with me, you can go to to psychicalley.net um, and um, I will um, I would gladly love to see you on a one-to-one -one, um, so that I can do a reading for you and your energy okay um, I can get so much more um, when it's your energy I'm looking into rather than it being a collective of um, you know all the Capricorns all the Virgos and like that okay i'm just going to give my cat some treats now um so um anyway take care and thanks for hanging out with me okay bye for now